This week, we have a pretty big misstep by a downtown Phoenix ambassador and some fairly disconcerting news on some pretty big projects in downtown Phoenix. And of course, Dave's got all the rock shows that you won't want to miss. <laughs> Welcome to Senfo TV for the week of December 19th, 2008. You know those people dressed in orange walking around downtown? Well, they're called downtown ambassadors and their job is to help visitors find their way around downtown. Last week, one of these ambassadors was quoted in the USA Today as saying that he sends people to Tempe and Scottsdale when they ask him for suggestions on what to do instead of recommending any of the great places we have right down here. The Downtown Phoenix Partnership, who employs the ambassadors, is funded by property owners downtown, so this incident is pretty disheartening. We spoke to David Rodriguez, CEO of the Downtown Phoenix Partnership, who assured us that this was an isolated incident. He said that there is a strict policy requiring ambassadors to only recommend local businesses in Downtown Phoenix. He went on to say that they do all receive extensive training on their businesses and opportunities downtown, and that there will be additional special training this week to reinforce that. The ambassador in question has also been suspended. Roderick went on to say that he is attempting to get in touch with the reporter that wrote the article to present a different picture of Central Phoenix. Since the article was in a popular nationwide newspaper, we hope he's successful because we all know there's plenty happening down here. For a link to the whole article in the USA Today, please visit our show notes at senfo.tv. Two major projects downtown are hitting the brakes on development and an existing mall is struggling to avoid bankruptcy. The Arizona Center is trying to get a reprieve from a $900 million debt repayment that was due on Friday. A spokesman stressed that there will be no immediate impact that customers would notice and that there are parties who have already expressed interest in buying the property if it does go into bankruptcy. Cityscape, barely under construction, is already scaling back. Construction of more than 1,000 condos planned for the project have been put on hold, 65 planned apartments have been eliminated, and a hotel has been eliminated. P.F. Chang's has pulled out as well, but their spot will be replaced by a steakhouse from Fox Restaurant Concepts, who already operates several restaurants across the valley. Still in place are plans for a Gold's Gym, Urban Outfitters, AJ's Fine Foods, and hopefully a drugstore. And lastly, the U of A had planned a $470 million expansion in downtown Phoenix, but that's been shelved by the cancellation of the legislative committee who was to review the project. The legislature won't reconvene till next year, leaving speculation that this project is dead in the water. For more information on any of these projects, please visit our show notes at senfo.tv. In spite of all the gloomy news we had this week, there is still plenty to do. Friday the 19th through Sunday the 21st, you can see iTheater's Holiday Cabaret. On Saturday the 20th, the Phoenix Neutrino Project will perform a live improvised movie for an audience at Space 55 where they'll film, edit, and score the whole thing as you watch. And on Monday the 22nd through Wednesday the 24th, the Roosevelt Neighborhood Association will light up the area with luminarias, which is an annual tradition for them. For links to buy tickets, get more information, or other events happening this week, please visit our calendar at senfo.tv. Now here's Dave with all the bands playing out this week. Friday, December 19th, hip-hop legends Bone Thugs and Harmony will be at the Celebrity Theater. And Last Exit Bar and Grill in Tempe will host a really good local showcase featuring Kinch, What Laura Said, and Black Carl. I highly recommend that show. Saturday, December 20th, Mesa Punk Rockers Authority Zero will be at the Marquee Theater. And Tempe's power pop band Hands on Fire will be at the Trunk Space Gallery on Grand. Monday, December 22nd, Electronica Band Ogre will play Marquee Theater. Tuesday, December 23rd, one of our local favorites, jazz rock band Sonoris, will play a Christmas Bash at the Rhythm Room. Just announced this week, TSOL will be at the sets February 4th. No Effects announced a show at the Marquee January 31st. Cheap Trick will play the Arizona Bike Week April 4th. Dave Matthews Band will play the Cricket Pavilion May 6th. And finally, just announced a band, I can't say their name, it's Fuji Ah and Mi Ha Gi will play the Rhythm Room March 2nd. As always, you can find ticket prices, door times, and links to all the bands and clubs at senfo.tv. That's it for this week's show. Thanks for joining us. We've started a weekly mailing list to make sure you don't miss any episodes, and if you'd like to be on that, please email info at senfo.tv. We'd also love to hear your comments, suggestions, or scoops, so please email those to info at senfo.tv as well. You can also leave comments in our show notes section. Thanks again, and have a great week. Hey, Laura.
Laura says or Laura says. You ever get like like slobbery in your mouth, but you can't swallow because you're talking? I'm, I'm not gonna. We're gonna have to edit that as where I can't say that name. Fuji a and Nihagi. Fuji ha. Miyagi, but I can't say that name. Fujiya, Miyagi, Fujiha Miyagi. We can just edit that.